Portland is known for a lot of great things, and now we can add beekeeping to the list. We have our master beekeeper, Aaron McGregor Forbes, with us. You're proud of your bee city, aren't you? I am. Portland is a great place to be a beekeeper, and it's a great place for colonies to live. How hard is it to, you know, raise bees, maintain hives, that kind of thing? It's pretty easy. Um, People usually start with taking a bee school in the winter, but by the next spring, they're usually running their own colonies. It's a great hobby that anyone can do. So we're going to start with the smoker. Um, smoke right. masks the ability of the bees to communicate the concept mm -hmm. of alarm. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing is uh, calming the hive down when we take it apart. <laughs> Let's calm. <laughs> I'm calmed down. <laughs> That's a lot of smoke, but we need it, right? Yes. Okay, so we're supposed to put it all over us? Well, it will mask the smells that are on your body. Um, bees have a sense of smell that's 60 times better than dogs, so um, they <laughs> notice a lot. So this will protect me, basically, this smoke. It will. All right, so keep doing extent. it. Keep doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I assume I need the veil now. Definitely. Okay, let me put this thing on. Put I, that string behind your head. Behind my head, all right. And the black side goes forward. It makes it easier to see. Okay, cool. I'm still a little nervous, even though I've got smoke all over me, the veil, but we're still gonna go in there, so let's go check out these bees now. Yeah. <laughs> all right. A little more, a little more. <laughs> I can see there are baby bees That's pupating those underneath little... those cappings. Okay. This is honey here, stored oh, honey. sweet. And so they're raising new babies in this colony. Okay. So I know that they have a queen because she's the one who laid those eggs. The queen is the only uh, bee in the colony who has mated and can therefore produce worker bees. And they can live for up to four years. There she goes. She's going in these individual right cells and then she sticks her abdomen in and lays an egg. And she does this for her All entire day, life. Her whole life. All day, Being, every day, her entire life. She can lay her body weight in eggs in a day. Bees change jobs by their age and the, the youngest bees are nurses and they basically hatch from the cells in this area and then proceed to be feeding um, the other babies that are there. As they get older they start doing housekeeping jobs like rearranging, putting nectar in different places, moving the nectar in the pollen and then at the oldest bees um, forage and also protect. Honey isn't actually produced by the bees. Honey is produced by the plants because the plants are the ones that make the nectar. The bees just carry it home and evaporate the water off. Oh, that's so interesting. So the flavor, color, and consistency of honey is 100% determined by the plants. Right. We typically harvest honey here in Maine around the 4th of July and then again around Labor Day. If you want to taste it, you can just literally, oh. that's honey. And then you have to stick it in your veil. Can I do that? Mm-hmm. All right. Just, yeah. I'm not going to disturb anything? No, nope, they'll fix it. They'll fix it? That's yeah, they'll awesome. rebuild that. Do you want to taste it? Wow, that's amazing. That is so good. <laughs> Aaron, thank you so much for all this awesome beekeeping knowledge. We really appreciate it. And I didn't get stung, at least not yet. We'll see you next time on Gardening with Gutner. You get any more B-roll. <laughs>